It is very cold. It's cold outside, there's no heating on in here. I think this is probably going to be the first proper test of a cold shower that we've had in the last, in the last three months at least. But we're going to do it regardless. It's that time of the year, warm, fluffy, knitted jumpers, only. <laughs> Every day, a little bit of Spanish. You know, I never fail to get loads of messages constantly saying, and comments being like, talking about how impressive my calisthenics journey was and how impressive my body transformation was. This is what I want the message of this video to be. The reason why I achieved what I have achieved and the reason why I made that transformation is because I picked one thing 
and I was consistent with that one thing. I am a completely normal human being just like you. Okay, me and you are exactly the same. You can achieve what I have achieved in calisthenics. You can achieve a body transformation of the same magnitude as me. But what you need to do is you need to decide that you're gonna do it and then you need to be consistent and you need to stick to it, that is it. And our, our main obstacle is thinking that we can achieve something in, in an easy way, in an easy quick way. And because of that, in our head we wanna do two, three, four different things at one time. Now when you're focused on two, three, four different things at one time, you end up making pro terrible progress and your motivation and you're spending so much energy for such little progress. I'm telling you this because this is the mistake I made. I was focusing on too many things at once. And, and this is recently. Up until recently, I only really did calisthenics. This, this is what I think you should do. You should, I think, I strongly believe you should have one main thing to maximum, but I recommend one main goal for your body and one main goal for your mind or for your business or for your work. Because once you pick that one thing and you stay consistent with that one thing, you achieve a transformation like I did. The reason why I'm sort of more focused on martial arts now and not so much calisthenics is because I've done calisthenics for six years, right? I've been in the gym for six years. I've been training my body for six years. I've got to a stage now where my body wants to do something new. My body wants to focus on something else. And that's completely fine. But when you're in that development stage of getting to that level, making that body transformation, you have to specialize and you have to commit. You have to commit. One way you can commit is by getting coached online by myself. I coach people online. I tell them what they need to do. I give them a workout plan, give them a diet plan, tell them everything they need to do. And they commit and they make results. You need something to make you just commit and specialize in that one thing. I am no different to you. Okay, we are the same. So whilst obviously I appreciate all the support and praise, I want people to really understand that they also have the potential to achieve such things. You watching this video have the potential to achieve what I have achieved in calisthenics. You can get that lead role in your job. You can make it to the very top of the company you work for. You can create a company that is bigger than the company that you work for. You can do anything. You can really truly do anything in this life, okay? I truly believe that. I honestly think it's just, I honestly think it's about mindset. It's just about mindset and commitment. That's it. You can do any of these things, but if you want to do any of these things, you have to prioritize them. If you do want to do online coaching, link down in the description to apply. Also, I have workout plans on my website if you're not willing to invest too much. Time to have some lunch. This is what we're having for lunch today. We've got some beetroot soup, which is like a traditional Ukrainian dish. Also eaten a lot in Russia as well. And we've got some chicken as well for some protein, obviously. So yeah, ready to feast once more. A little hack by the way, if you're trying to lose weight or you're cutting or something and you want to enjoy the food more, eat with a smaller spoon. Training twice a day, reading, working. You know, hopefully I can look back at these videos one day and be like, wow, I've come really far. I've grown so much as a result of living this lifestyle that I'm living. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Drop a comment. I'll read all the comments. See you a lot bright and early tomorrow morning to do it all again. Love and peace. Respect yourself.